you should see my screen. Right. Okay. So, okay. So today I will present you an open source uh, simulation service made uh, with the, provided with a REST uh, uh, API interface and that we provide uh, to the Eduxis community and that was able to simulate a business process and this is generally known to be <coughs> adapted to any kind of model. Uh, this simulation service is uh, made of pure Java code, is based on PetriNet and currently the possibility to simulate a business process in standard BPMN model in uh, Adux X uh, uh, XML uh, format, so when the one that you, you can export from the tool and up simulate it directly a PetriNet in the standard PNML format. Um, the core is a PetriNet, uh, it's a PetriNet um, engine that gives the possibility to um, manage all the semantics of the PetriNet and in order to work we provide a mapping for the, uh, you, the model you would like to simulate, so a business process, to the PetriNet that um, most cover all BPMN element. Uh, the tool is provided as a REST uh, service, but we also provide uh, a simple web client that I will show you later, uh, that give you the possibility to uh, analyze and show graphically in a more user-friendly way the result of the simulation. The REST API instead uh, return only an XML with all the uh, simulation results. Uh, this service uh, is high custom customizable uh, in terms of mission, in terms of model type supported, and in terms of uh, um, mechanisms, internal mechanism on transition choice. Uh, I will show you a bit more in detail later what uh, what this means. So a small overview on the architecture. Um, uh, so we have the main interaction point is with the REST API uh, where the web client is connected and so um, also the web client is a simple uh, HTML page that asynchronous communicate with the REST API. Um, <clears throat> there is an import model that is, uh, that is one of the extension points that give you the possibility to uh, automatically recognize the model and uh, translate uh, the model in the uh, right PetriNet internal structure. Uh, this part uh, in this model um, is possible to be extended with uh, your own uh, mechanisms in order to uh, convert uh, and provide uh, mapping to your model to PetriNet. There is an export model used mainly for uh, diagnostic purpose, but also to generate uh, the PetriNet and so on. Uh, there is a measures model that gives you the possibility to define which kind of measure you would like to simulate. Uh, the currently available are waiting time, execution time, costs, uh, and also some other like uh, deadlock checking uh, and and terminate uh, checking. Uh, in this, uh, okay, it's possible also to visualize all the generated and generated trace. Uh, I will show you a bit later. Uh, another extension point is the transition choice module that gives you the possibility to uh, implement your own way to um, perform a choice in the in a in when a gateway event occurs. So if you have a gateway that XOR gateway that give you the possibility to choose between two paths uh, the random um, distribution engine that 
generate that perform the choice can be extended and adapted. Uh, then there is the simulation models that mainly <coughs> that manage all the functions and provide the simulation capabilities. Uh, all the details of this uh, uh, service are available in the in this building block that we can see in the edxx website so on the developer community we go on building block and edxx web simulation here we have three sections details with uh, some definite some description of the uh, architectural view and features of the simulation use that I will talk you <coughs> I will present a bit later uh, will show you how to use the service and extend that contain a step-by-step -step, uh, uh, guide in order to uh, extend the service so also uh, including the uh, where to download the SVN the code, the SVN location, and how to import in Eclipse, how to compile, uh, the description of the extension points, so for importing the model, for the measures, for the transition choice, and some example on extensions. So in this case uh, the adding support for BPMN terminate and events. Uh, there is also a section that uh, show how it's possible to integrate uh, this service uh, using the REST API into edx 6 uh, step by step, uh, providing also the scripting in a script format that give you the possibility to uh, communicate uh, with the service. And okay, so uh, talking about, uh, we go back to the slide. So how to use the service? I, s I already told you that we have two ways. So via REST API or via uh, web client, uh, where um, minimalistic graphic interface uh, is provided. Uh, the REST API is available in this site, so edx6.org simulation REST. Um, and you can see all the available uh, methods using a common uh, REST uh, client like uh, SOAP UI. The web client instead is in edx6.org uh, simulation and this uh, API this uh, page simply interact with the REST API uh, in a synchronous way and parse the XML and show it in a graphical form. So uh, in order to use directly this uh, uh, interface we have to export the model in a format accepted by the simulator that can be BPMN or adx 6 uh, format or PNML. So if we go uh, we can test it. Uh, so we can export a model, XML export of this model, extract, so desktop, test. We export the file. Then we can open the simulation service. We, this is the interface we you will see. Desktop, choose the model, select the number of simulation you would like to perform, one hundred in this case, one thousand in this case, and click on start. Uh, after a few seconds or minutes, depends from the uh, model, you get the result. Uh, in such a case, uh, uh, we have 
uh, in this interface we have uh, different sections where you can see the general result, so result about uh, average of the cost, uh, average of times, uh, uh, trace with the maximum execution time or with minimum execution time, uh, the dead lookup path in case there are some some deadlocks, uh, the total number of paths and traces, uh, information of every path with the probability, the number of different traces of, of this path, uh, the waiting time of this path, and so on. Um, we have information also on the single activities and tasks. So for each one, we can see the number of executions, uh, the total cost, and the total execution time. And in, we can also see which one is the raw XML that is generated by the service. That is this one. Uh, here you can also find more lot of information, more than the one that you would see on the screen, uh, because there are information on every trace uh, with the object ID and so on. Uh, for the agnostic purpose, you will see also the internal PetriNet representation in PNML format, so you can um, save this, uh, um, this XML as PNML and open with, a, uh, with any kind of PetriNet editor that support the standard and see graphically all your model is converted in PetriNet, and if it's uh, in the right for shape or not, in order to provide feedback, and the input model that, that you simulate. So, mm, we can go back on the slides. Okay, now hands-on on the simulation service. Uh, this one is covered in the last section, in the extend section. Um, the, uh, we define three kind of extension point, the model import, the measure, and the transition choice. Uh, and basically, um, each extension point is defined by uh, an interface. This, this one for the model import, uh, this other one simulation listener for the measures and transaction listener for the transition choice. Um, I can give you a demonstration of uh, the integration in ADX6 uh, using directly the REST API. In such a case, uh, if we would like to simulate the model, we go in the simulation panel. Under tools, we have the remote simulation. Here, the tool will ask for the endpoint of the simulation service. Uh, I use the local address, but you can we can use also the adx 6 the public one uh, service. It asks our simulation to perform, like in the web interface, and we just the model, simulate, export, and when the simulation finishes, it returns, in this case, only the XML results, uh, the result in XML format without uh, parsing, but it's just to give you an idea of the um, integration features. Uh, this XML can be parsed and in order to show the result directly from the models. Uh, um, but um, this is not yet online, and we can see that this XML here is more or less uh, uh, similar or the same to this one generated by the web interface, because the model is the same. Um, where is 
Two, so here, okay. So, um, this one is another example of uh, extension. The definition of the terminate and event. The uh, as an exercise, uh, we can we provide uh, as a separate uh, implementation. Um, so we provide the, the details of every step perform and why we perform the step in order to uh, extend uh, the um, mapping and the simulation engine in order to recognize the presence of the terminate event in BPMN. Um, and you can find all this information online in the extent page. Uh, the SUS code is available in the public SBN that you can find here. And also as details in the uh, first section of the extend process apps here. So you can download the full Eclipse project in order to deploy your own simulation service. Thank you for your attention. Um, if you have any question, please uh, ask me. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Damiano, for the presentation. And we will wait. If you wait, if you have uh, questions, please type it in the chat. Damiano is here to answer all your questions. Thank you then for watching, and if no more questions, we would like you to like you to join us for the next webinar, and to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and join our group. Thank you, until next time.